How's it going everyone? Ben here, your friendly neighborhood med student, and today we're going to be talking about uh, testosterone gel, applying it to the face, and will it actually help you grow facial hair? Can it happen? Is it true? Is it a myth? Is it is it something that's being spread on the internet um, as a false, false reality? This video is really important to me because it kind of goes back to the roots of why I even made this YouTube channel in the first place. And that was around four years ago. While I was in medical school, I made the decision to start medically transitioning. I went on YouTube to learn about medical transitioning, about the experiences of some people. But as I started watching more YouTubers, trans mask YouTubers, um, I realized there was a lot of medical misinformation that was being spread in the trans community, not because we were trying to harm each other, but there was a lack of ignorance. There was, there was not a lot of people who are trans and in medicine explaining how hormones and medical transitioning works to other trans people. So uh, I remember four years ago, I was very, very, very nervous about whether or not I would grow a beard. And... I saw this one video where this man was taking, um, this trans man was taking testosterone gel and he indicated that he applies testosterone gel to his face um, just so that maybe it might, it might help him grow a beard. And this is where I learned that no, that's, that's not how it works and I want to make sure that other trans masculine people and whether or not you're a cisgender man who is also taking testosterone for some other reason like low t you know that uh, applying testosterone gel to the face is not gonna is not gonna make you grow a beard and i'll explain why i think this misconception is really spread to the fact that a lot of people think when you apply a topical like any form of gel or cream based medication to an area it's gonna work in that area i mean if we look at things like hydrocortisone cream when you have poison ivy you put it where the poison ivy is and boom it goes away or eczema um steroids goes away uh, also, recently, we, we've learned that things like Rogaine monoxidil um, uh, serums, which was originally made to grow hair for balding people, ends up helping a lot of people grow a beard if if they if they apply to their their face so it makes sense if, if you think logically as not as a non-medical person like why wouldn't applying testosterone gel to the face work right so to explain why it doesn't work the main the number one main reason why it doesn't work like that with testosterone gel is the fact that testosterone as a hormone itself actually doesn't influence a lot of our characteristics when we take it it's actually the byproduct, uh, a separate product that's made from testosterone called DHT, dehydrotestosterone, that impacts a lot of these secondary facial external characteristics that people who take these hormones have when it comes to masculinization. So uh, testosterone, when we, we, we take it either through gel, patches, injection, what happens is that that hormone goes to our liver and then the liver converts it to dehydro, uh, dehydrotestosterone through an enzyme called 5-alpha reductase. 5-alpha reductase is very, very important because it converts that testosterone to DHT. And then the DHT spreads to the parts of the body that needs it and then attaches to DHT receptors in order to work. And guess what? Our hair follicles actually don't have very strong testosterone receptors. It has very, very strong DHT receptors. Our muscles, on the other hand, has much, much more affinity for testosterone receptors. So that's why uh, when someone takes testosterone, they also experience muscle building. But DHT has a, a huge effect on secondary characteristics, such as facial hair, face shape, and all, a bunch of other characteristics, even something like your smell. So in a sense, applying testosterone to your face is actually might be more harmful because there's a, not a lot of surface area on your face for the gel to be spread on. And also our face are, is one of those parts of the body that gets the most amount of dirt and grime and sebum. There's like a bunch of oil particles, oil um, follicles here that like secrete a lot of other material that can actually get in the way of absorbing T-gel. So don't apply it to your face. The best places to apply it are places with large 
surface area there's a lot of blood vessels going near the skin so that the skin can absorb the testosterone and then absorb it into the bloodstream so it can get to the liver for it to be synthesized so places like the shoulder and the thighs are actually even better places to apply testosterone gel rather than the face as kind of like a side note the reason why things like minoxidil works really well on the face is because minoxidil um, does, is not a hormonal drug. It's actually a drug that uh, um, dilates your blood vessels. It allows your blood vessels to get bigger, allowing more blood to come to the face area. So that means if your body is producing DHT and other nutrients, that those those materials can get to your face quicker, which allows your hairs to mature quicker, fall off, and then grow new hairs that are thicker and darker. So that's why minoxidil works in the way that it does. But T-gel will not work the same way. So I hope I hope this video has been helpful in understanding on why you shouldn't really apply T-gel to your face. It's actually detrimental. You're much better off applying it to a place in your body with a lot more surface area because you get the most bang for your buck there. You're more likely to absorb that testosterone into your bloodstream so you can get where it needs to get. Anyways, uh, this that's the end of this video. It's short and sweet, but I wanted to make sure this was really, really um, like talked about and published because just recently I saw someone, this was a, a child, uh, like a teenager, uh, he, he wasn't trans, but he was just curious and asked Reddit if like it's possible for him to grow a beard if he applied T-gel to his face, which will not happen. And two, um, testosterone and DHT aren't the only things that contribute to hair growth on your face. Your genetics play a huge part in whether or not you can grow a beard or not. I am blessed with South Asian genes, so I have my beard has been growing over the last couple of years. It's nowhere near uh, where I think it's going to get, but um, yeah. So just make sure you you know that and make sure your colleagues know about it if they're thinking about applying testosterone gel to their face anyways thank you all so much for watching this video i hope you come back for future videos and follow me on instagram and twitter to keep up with my daily life and activism work and i'll see y'all in the next video Mwah. this is ben